Good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Saturday of Windmill Windup 2018. I am Hannah Pendlebury, joined in the co commentary booth by the inimitable Hilary Holmes. How are you doing this morning, Hilary? I'm fabulous. Thank you, Hannah, for a wonderful welcome. I'm so excited for this matchup this morning. A team from New Zealand and a pickup team from everywhere in Europe, just about. I was just having a quick chat to the team of Radio Shower, looking at their lineup. They've picked up people from Germany, Spain, England, Italy. They don't have a central base. They're just a little bit of what you fancy, i.e. a little bit of everything in <laughs> Europe. And they will start this game off with a lovely floating ball that's going to land just at the, uh, oh no, just going to land out of bounds. I thought that one was in for days, Hillary. Yeah, that looked like it was going to stay in. And it, it and hung well. Right, it did. <laughs> it's not meant to be, so Marius will now <laughs> have a and discussion with the sideline and bring that in at the break mark. Well, I think they're walking towards where it went out on the sideline. Oh, well, there we go. It's using the, uh, the further up the pitch rather than... I, I quite liked taking the ball for the break mark, but... Uh, Choosing the half field from the near sideline. Lovely high release backhand. Oh, but bubbled. Very early turnover. Yes, indeed. And a very early put. That is a lovely flat disc. Oh, oh, very and well received. <laughs> and popped off into the end zone. Walks away very nonchalantly. Just chucks it behind him. Doesn't even look where his receiver is. Says, this is easy. I'm going to get this goal. <laughs> the first one for Radio Shower. Indeed, and there we see not, not really much in the way of a mark and allowing that throw to just go up nice and early. And well taken by the receiver. It's difficult, Hilary. Already in this game, I was saying, uh, I was sort of teasing Team Radio Shower for the fact that their numbers are very hard to read on their kit <laughs> to credit people with yeah, the lovely play there. So a light, lovely light boot. It's a very elegant kit. You have to say. So that was Galen Campbell there on the uh, on the lovely read of that disc and the pop in for the assist. A very good job there, Hannah, of finding the number and finding the <laughs> corresponding name. Well, the issue I'm finding here is I'm, ha I'm having to rather stare at their bottoms in order to because they're sort of the shirts are hanging over the, the the rear end of the team radio shower. Hannah, is that really an issue for you? I f it makes me feel <laughs> I don't have a choice in the matter, and that makes me feel bad, Hilary. <laughs> Yeah, they're forcing you in one direction to to look at a certain perspective, aren't they? They are indeed. They're forcing my eyes to that place. I mean, that it's, it's but obviously all them being you know honed athletes. It's uh, you know it's it's all it's all good here on the live stream. But uh, we'll get play back in. Black sheet will find Ben Davies on the far sideline. The very tall, statured player. He'll look to swing it across. But there is a pick call on the play. So as you're saying, a team from uh, from down under, but not quite your neighbourhood, Hillary, being no, an Australian just, lady just yourself. Just across the lake a little bit. You know, just <laughs> stones throw away. Well, you know, for us Europeans, you guys are, are practically the same, right? <laughs> I mean, it's much of a muchness, really. Oh, a bit of a higher pass there, but well fielded by 
I think that's Mara Neal there. Good flow now, starting to be generated by Black Sheep, much better than the beginning of this game. Looking a little stagnant, like, oh, lovely inside break around to Neil. Oh, oh, and she reels that one in. Nearly takes a tumble, losing her footing, but good core strength there. What do you think is this? The offense looks pretty chilled out right now. Yeah, they just haven't quite warmed up, probably, I don't think. They're very stagnant, as you said earlier on, and we see a turnover in the end zone. Indeed, trying to chuck it to the tall man, but unfortunately for a Black Sheep Radio Shower, had their own tall man in the way. <laughs> the number 70, I believe, but I can't find him on my sheep right now. Either way, very nice defense. This is a better movement here from Radio Shower compared to Black Sheep. Earlier, we saw them only making one cut at a time, which was slowing them down. Their pace was what was making it making trouble for them because mm. they weren't providing enough options for the handler. And so Team Radio Shower will throw it a little too far, far in front of the outstretched hands of Lisa Kohenberg. And now Josh Broughton on the desk. Considers his uh, lack of upfield options. No one seems to be wanting to cut from the stack in this early Saturday morning game. As you watch them, they're all just standing there as well. And there's only one person making a move from the back of the stack. Quite frankly, I feel like we should yell across and tell them somebody should cut as well, cut away, make some options. I mean, it's the first game of the second day in this tournament. You shouldn't be that tired, surely. Oh, well, that certainly didn't look tired there, Hillary. <laughs> A lovely inside break to Ben Davies, who puts it deep for his teammate. <clears throat> nice little channel of play there. Very nicely done. So... That is one apiece, one all to Black Sheep versus Radio Shower, early days in this game. So we'll get another look at that inside break to Davies, who's a pretty big target, quite an easy man to hit. Have played indoors with that man once. It was glorious because it's just such long arms, but uh, a good take as well there. And in the zone, a little bit of defensive pressure, which is nice to see on the break side. Just hung a little bit, but... What do you reckon? Who's got who's your money on at this stage, Hillary? Oh, it's too early to call, Hannah. Too early to call in general or in, in this game? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to favour someone, Hillary. I, Maybe even based on the reputations alone. Could I be biased? I mean. Oh yeah. It's <laughs> it's yeah. I mean it's of course right. It's it's what it's what a commentator does. But I I have seen neither teams play before. Completely fallen apart. Yeah, <laughs> oh, fabulous scuba over the top from William Martin. Oh, and a bit of a risky biscuit, but well placed. <laughs> That's a lovely throw there from you Campbell. You say a risky biscuit, but that was superb. That shot went up and had the right angle. He could see his player in that pocket of the end zone. Well, we'll see that again. Very Takes down nice. the uh, take down the scuba. See, what I mean by Risky Biscuit is we're throwing directly into the wind a very high pass. And if you look, perfectly placed for where it landed, but if the wind had decided to pick up in that moment, it is a little gentler today than it was yesterday. But I don't that's what I mean. It's It worked very well, but it could have gone a different way if the wind certainly, had picked. Certainly, certainly. I mean, yesterday we saw the wind was very still with a slight breeze, but then all of a sudden it would just pick up without warning and without notice and it would just change the nature of the game. You're right, Hannah, those things can happen. Right now, it's just a subtle breeze, so there's no excuse for a poor throw into the wind. You can't use that anymore. Indeed, and well, yesterday though, we were discussing, actually the wind was causing more issues for the team uh, shooting downfield than it was <laughs> yeah. shooting upfield into the wind. Great rundown from Radio Shower. Yes, clearly they're awake this morning. Black Sheep arrived about five minutes before the game. Um, I was talking to one of their players, Mara Neal, and she was like, yeah, no, we're, we're old. We, we, don't, uh, we don't warm up. It's not what we do. But a good Kiwi connection. Yes, I've often played on teams with, I would say, mature players who say, I'll use the game to warm up. And maybe <laughs> perhaps that's why we're seeing a bit of a slower start perhaps. to the Kiwi team here this morning. Bit uh -huh. of a huck and hope situation here, but it could come off. Oh, what a huck it is, Hillary. Oh. But batted away very effectively by the number 22 shirt of Michael Remy. And there's a call on field. 
Look at that throw. For a high stall situation, Hillary, that is quite the biscuit. Oh, that's delicious. A little bit of uh, aggressive defense. See what the resolution of the call will be. Uh, looks to be an uncontested foul. Misha demonstrating good spirit. One of the German contingent of this team, this team radio shower. And they will bring that back. <clears throat> so, well, Black Sheep now get to take it from the top of the end zone line. And an easy pass. Excellent isolation there of Mara Neal. One on one situation in the end zone. That's always going to be the offense. I mean, that's, that's the beauty of playing with a team that you know so well. You can just understand where your opponent's going to go to, where your teammate's going to run, and you can just throw that disc out into space. I'm going to take that very nicely. Yes, making that look oh too easy after the, uh, the early put in the foul call. So, two apiece, currently trading. Things still looking, uh, looking a little smoother as they both find their legs in this game, these two teams. Yeah, I think Black Sheeps are starting to warm up now. They're starting to get their muscles going. You know, we might see them actually be a bit more dynamic in their cutting. You, you know, you can't call it at this stage. I mean, it's neck and neck. There's two apiece. But, Hannah, do you have a premonition of what might happen, what we might see here today? Well, clearly two very capable teams. Otherwise, we wouldn't be uh, seeing them against each other at this stage on the live stream. I reckon, at the moment, I think I like Team Radio Shower's flow a bit better when they can get it going. Although they, ha they had that uh, in that last point, we did see them throw it away pretty much on the first pass. But that zone offense, when they can get it, you know, when they can get it clicking together, like this, that lovely inside to William Martin on the near sideline. And the scuba over the top again. Boy does love a good scuba. So I, I actually rate the, uh, the chances of Team Radio Shower so I think their their nice offenses look nicer, but we'll continue to watch this so-called nice offense as they go against this poachy zone of the black sheep. Yeah, they're just comfortably moving moving it through, but it, even though they haven't gained too many meters, it is looking quite nice. They're they're breaking down that wall that is very loose, and it'll only take a matter of one throw to get through for them to gain a lot of momentum and get down close to the end zone. Yes, indeed. For a so-called pickup team, this zone offense is looking very capable indeed. Taking lots of sensible options. Happy to move the disc backwards as well as forwards. That's what you have to do. Not choosing really any over the tops. Bit of a shoulder bump there. Yes, indeed. From the Kiwi player. It's tough for them. They've grown up playing rugby union. They don't know how to play Frisbee very well. <laughs> it's hard to transition from a contact to a non-contact sport sometimes. That's true. It's very true. And certainly other non-contact sport that might have uh, different, different definitions of what con constitutes contact. Closer to the end zone now. Things are a little bit... <laughs> oh! I was going to say a little bit more Cheeky. clustered. I love that little high release to uh, Maya Milik there. Very tasty disc. Oh, that was very cheeky. That was t stolen from the air. Let's have another look at that one. Is that the high stool? Stool cancer joint? There. That little flip it up. Oh, and three defenders coming in. Just watching it. <laughs> well, that shows, the, that shows the quality of Maya Milik there. Just... Uh, Takes, takes it down under triple coverage. Yes, triple coverage indeed. I mean, it's a lot of pressure to have three players surrounding you, eager for that disc, but Radio Shower just too confident. I mean, they're all mature players, and I was chatting to them earlier, and they were just saying, 
It's basically a team of friends and they just pick up whoever they like. <laughs> so a very interesting selection process there to make it onto the team. You have to be friendly, you have to be good mates with one of them. Yeah, that's an interesting one because normally, uh, well I say normally, that oftentimes some of the uh, more established teams can be accused of favoring just individuals that they, uh, that they know. I actually, it's not based on skill. It's nice to see a team be honest about, no, we just choose people we like. <laughs> you, have to be, you have to be good at Frisbee, but we just choose people we like as Charlie Galloway throws an uh, errant pass into the hands of the defense. And Campbell will put it immediately. Oh! Excellent little piece of footwork there. And Radio Shower get the break. Oof. Well, that was a very quick transition onto offense. I mean, a beautiful intercept there for Radio Shower. Yeah, a little bit of a uh, lack of attack there from Ben Davies. And I really love the footwork on this score. Looks, thinks about it, has a little glance down and trots <laughs> it into the end zone. Fancy footwork indeed there, Hannah. And my, 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 Team Radio Shower are awake. Oh, they're ready and raring to go. And this game has only just begun and they've exceeded their lead by two points. They're now sitting on four. Black Sheep on two. Black Sheep need to now wake up and be say. Yeah. <laughs> in order to, uh, to correctly identify and, uh, and give credit to those doing awesome things thus far in this game. Black Sheep don't appear to have any numbers on their jerseys whatsoever. So we're, uh, we're going from bits, so. We're guessing. We are a little bit. However, Team Radio Shower now on the attack doorstep of the end zone. Are they gonna take a simple reset or are they gonna try and jam it in the end zone? Jamming oh, it is. Oh, they jam it, they do. Oh, and what a jam that was. Fab fabulous work. I mean, that was quick offense. That was a really fast point. Indeed Not it was. Not worrying about the clock whatsoever. They're just moving that so swiftly down the field. And as you say, they just crammed that in the cram hole right into that pocket <laughs> of the end zone. Well, in the end, it wasn't so much a cram, actually. The, uh, the cutter came in with quite a lot of separation. Just a, just a race towards that front cone. Well identified. Yeah, there was just a separation and a, a parting of ways of the Black Sheep players. They went to the other side of the end zone, making a lot of space for radio shower. Indeed, and that was Sana Lufkins there with that score. Very, very fast player. So. Great acceleration. 5-3. I said I favored more of the offensive team radio shower, Hillary. Do you think that two two point lead is enough to put money behind them? Look, I wouldn't say it's a comfortable lead, but at the rate that Black Sheep are going, they need to just switch on a little bit more. And this is looking slightly better, but they're getting trapped and it's a high stall count. Yeah, Remy doing a great work of shutting down Ben Davies. And Milek stifling oh, upfield. Very up. lovely. But I think that one might come back. An uncontested foul there. I think that's Brian on the mark. And yeah, goes for the high release and uh, wee bit of contact there. Oh, sorry, it's uh, Marika Bruce even. And so Black Sheep finding a little more separation now, but a pit call there on one of the two Neil sisters in this game. There are two of them, two Neils. And of course, that being Becca. Petra Horvath going to the end zone, oh! but taken away by the 41 shirt, Daniel Moose. Great chase there from Black from Radio Shower. Oh, forehand flick fake. Chosen not to take the shot. Interesting oh, that they've snatch. got three, three handlers out, but they're still setting up in a vertical stack. Just a low disc there, too, too low. Radio Shower to pick that one up. Yeah, Preen and Milek not finding a good connection there. Lovely ripper backhand from Horvath. Oh, and Black Sheep, very close. 
scoring and closing the gap on the scoreboard. Chooses the reset. Pit call in the end zone. Looking very cluttered. They're all too close to that end zone line. They need to spread out and give that thrower some room. They People certainly do. Some cards. Oh, and a hand block there for Remy. Tasty piece. And Team Radio Show with another opportunity. Oh, big oh. fake. <laughs> Chooses the inside backhand instead. And Milek will be the one to throw to Prien. Can they have the connection the other way around? Yes, they oh. certainly can. What a lovely shot there from the two ladies of the Team Radio Shower. So calm, so Saucy. comfortable. Saucy this. Saucy. She just, she saw that floating and just waited ever so patiently. Yeah, well, an ex very much an experienced rece rece receiver. <laughs> receiver is Priam. Goes up nice and strong. Defensive pressure behind and also, you know, a bit of extra pressure from her own teammate <laughs> who was coming in to help back her up if she needed it. What yeah. an absolute gent. Churning up yards as that disc hung in the air. Becca Neal on the shoulder too. Very experienced player though. As you can see, she's watching the disc from side on. She's not looking directly above where the disc, you know, once you see it above your head, you, that's where you're going to lose it. So you need to be side on watching that disc. She's using her body to box out her opponent as well. The work of a very experienced player there. A textbook. Textbook example of how one should read a disc. And a pull goes in almost immediately out of bounds. Into the sea of tents. I wonder if they might take that one from a sideline where it went out. Tent City, that's loud tent city. So I great for those, shot there of the tents. Yes <laughs> indeed with the with a little Broughton at the bottom. We're a big fan of that shot. <laughs> Go hunting for the Frisbee. I'm sure there are many in Tent City. In fact, I think, hey, Hilary, I think you can see our tent from here. <laughs> <laughs> I can see my house from here. <laughs> and you can see the lovely red Big van, red the ulti.tv van, our cruise home for the weekend. Any Anybody on the road who sees that big red old German fire truck that's the ulti tv van give them a shout out yes honk please do honk 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 if you like frisbee <laughs> so black sheep now getting a little bit more movement on the field a bit more dynamic this is looking better big gratuitous layup yeah that was definitely gratuitous hillary but i liked it nonetheless oh, oh and a oh! huge foot block oh Shut that down. was nice by black <laughs> When a big ripper hut goes immediately to the streaking player. And oh. what a catch! That was delicious. That was so delightful. Justin van der Mullen, deep free for days. I mean, what a throw. That huck went up into the air, floated perfectly down into the end zone with enough time for that player to run on so, ever so comfortably. I mean, picture perfect. Take a photo if you can. Talking about picture perfect, that was so good that our our monitor screen decided to have a little <laughs> have a little sleep there. It, it got overwhelmed. A, it had a conniption, didn't it? <laughs> and Hannah, can you believe the score? Black sheep are on three. Radio shower seven. They're on the doorstep of taking half. I mean, well, with foot blocks <laughs> like that, We're can't only, really be surprised. How many minutes are we into this game? Fifteen minutes. It can't be more, really. Maybe 20. And already, this well, team... It's almost half oh, an hour, it's Hillary. Half an hour. It's, it's gone that fast. <laughs> it's just whizzed by. It really... I, no, it genuinely has. It has. Considering that this is the first game on Saturday, after a full day of play yesterday, and a full day for us of uh, talking into microphones, saying all kinds of interesting fun facts. You mean nonsense, Hannah. Yeah, I do mean nonsense. <laughs> I was trying to build, I was trying to pick us up, Hillary. Come on, trying to come give on. us some. But um Yeah, no, this game is uh, is slipping away before before our very eyes, but not without giving us some very exciting moments. So Black Sheep will look to stem the bleeding and they will throw it a little bit too short. 
that'll be fielded very well by Misha Remy. Now Team Radio Shower looking to take their half, looking dangerous indeed with this vertical stack offense. Brian doesn't like the deep shot. She'll holster that one. Find her teammate under instead. The interest trader Warren. Nice oh. inside batted away. Excellent defense there. Call is immediately retracted. Good spirit there. Very nice indeed. Both players shaking hands. And pull back from the middle. Picking up the disc. Chucks it to her partner. Hannon Stevenson. But uh just couldn't. The run honey it down. pass doesn't work. The <laughs> honey pass didn't work. The connection was not there, which is a bit too much. Perhaps it was the wind, because as we now feel it, it is picking up quite considerably. Radio shower with another opportunity to take half very quickly. Radio Shao setting up in a horror, looking to move it onto the sideline. Nice cut there down the sideline. Looks long, options not there. Fakes. They're just choosing to stick to that sideline. Why use all the space on the field? And now they center it, moving it easily through the handlers, using the full length of the field. <laughs> that was almost an intercept if that black sheep player had just looked up for one second. Radio Shower having a very easy time of moving this disc. Getting a little bit stifled though as they get closer towards the end zone. Nice swinging. Just taking it very comfortably though. They do, that's true. They're, they're looking a little, little less uh, rapid than they were earlier stages of the game, but by no means looking under too much pressure, happy to just chill in their sleeveless shirts. Furious wave of cuts in the end zone. Yeah. Everyone oh, wanting to be a hero, oh, but the hero is Nikki Prien. Well, J Hannah, Radio Shower have just shown their cards. They are rare and to go. They've just taken half. Indeed, they have, Hillary, and with great style as well. Focus there. We were saying about the fact that they, you know, they were sort of a little bit caught outside the front of the end zone, just managing to uh, to find the magic using their, I think, probably brute speed there, possibly from Priam. But so that's half, eight three, five point lead. Nice big cushion for Radio Shower. Do you think we'll see them let off at all in the second half? Certainly not. Experienced players like this will never let the foot drop. They're going to hopefully step it up. Well, you say never. Gear. You say never, <laughs> Hillary. Anything can happen here at Windmill. I don't think it'll be radio shower dropping off. I think it'll have to be, you know, if there's a change in the next half, it'll have to be black sheep. And there's got to be a few, few elements they need to switch up here. Hannah, do you know what they need to do? I think it's just take slightly smarter options. I think black sheep, sheep are trying to force it on occasion, especially with some of their deeper shots. Um, throwing to people who are covered by not, not just one defender, but two defenders. And two tall... Two tall male defenders. Very athletic defenders as well. Mm. So it's... it's uh, it, and that's, that's a hard ask of anybody. Yeah. Especially when you're uh, in the mixed division. There was an instance where they were throwing to one of their women deep and there were two gentlemen quite close to her. And so, you know, it's, it's a difficult th a difficult thing in terms of stature mismatches, certainly, to come off with those ones. I think, yeah, it just needs to stop forcing it so much, play their own game, and maybe, uh, maybe try and move the disc more, change the uh, angle of attack a little mm. bit more rapidly. Mm. You know, it might, might be a slightly older team, but certainly, you know, I've, se I've seen many of the players on that Black Sheep team move a lot faster than they have been in this uh, early Saturday morning game. So hopefully they can take on some water, perhaps a little, put some electrolyte tabs in there, get themselves a little, you know, maybe send a delegation over to the Iggy to go grab themselves some coffee, perhaps to buzz them up in this game or some sugar. Yeah, a boost of caffeine or sugar, any bit of energy just to get them going. I think... 
black sheep need to do two things firstly on defense they need to either decide whether they're going to cover the unders or cover the deeps at the moment radio shower are just getting all of the unders so you know focus on one of those things make a decision as a team and stick to it hold the force we see the force just being you know changed up a bit and in offense you're totally right there Hannah they need to just choose smarter options the safer options and perhaps as you say switch it up a little bit maybe not just look for that easy down the line shot I say easy when it's not easy when there's two <laughs> defenders there. <laughs> Certainly not, Harry. But yeah, it's, it's about making those uh, slightly different choices. Perhaps to take on... I'd like to see Black Sheep take the force on a little bit more. They have a very, very, very capable handler set. Maybe use the break side a lot more. I think Davies has been getting a lot of inside breaks that have been creating some excellent upfield flow when Black Sheep are firing on not quite all, but, you know, good 80 90 percent of their cylinders but i feel like they've definitely got more to offer than what we're currently seeing in this game but the problem being taking something away from team radio shower they're all very good i think that might be why we see them getting the uh this, this sort of more conservative unders perhaps black sheep looking a little scared of those deep shots hillary hannah you're right they're a hard team to crack they're all friends i mean when you've got a team built on connections and chemistry that's that's a huge monster to tackle. Well, you say connections and chemistry. I'm not sure how often these people play together. I imagine and envisage actually Team Radio Shower play <laughs> against each other opposite on the field. And as you say that, they make a beautiful connection downfield. A lovely shot there from William Martin, almost the full length of the pitch. Looking a little clustered now on the end zone line. Finds Campbell as a safety valve for a release and Priam will read that exceptionally well. Oh, is that Priya? No, that is not. That is Sana Lufkin's story. Crediting her teammate with that amazing read in the wind as that one hung for days. Yeah, Hannah, that had a lot of time in the air and it made me just question what was Black Sheep thinking when they saw that disc go up. I mean, you watch them just, just admire the disc as opposed to attacking it. I mean, Black Sheep had an opportunity there to get into position and to potentially sky the disc. Instead... Just they just watched it like a movie. Kind of, yeah, almost turned away, being like, well, I'm going to go play some offense. See ya. Yeah, yeah. No, that, was, that was just poor defense from Black Sheep there. I agree. Campbell throwing almost, you know. <laughs> well, perhaps they didn't expect a, quite such a floaty disc from the hands of Campbell. Either way, Justine van der Mullen, they've got to give her a good shout for running that disc down exceptionally well from William Martin. So... Looks like we're getting much more of the same Hillary fantastic offense there from Team Radio Shower right out of the blocks. And uh, Black Sheep just looking a little bit, a little bit sadder in this game right now. Yeah, they're just not quite in it. They, they don't seem like they're hungry for the disc. It doesn't seem like they want it, Hillary. I completely agree with you there. It's just, they're just not really, I, I don't feel it right now. Black Sheep are not making me feel the feels, apart from the feels of, I'm a little bored. I just think they haven't woken up this morning. Maybe Perhaps they had a bad not. sleep in their tent. <laughs> maybe that was it, maybe. Maybe they were around the bonfire with us <laughs> last night. As we've uh, we said, obviously the quality of play here at this windmill tournament is fabulous, but as is also the party. Ah, oh, lovely inside pop there to Davies. His shirt puts the, uh, the age-old sign of, why are there no deep cuts? <laughs> I just got into a power position. And Broughton does exactly the same thing. Handler's doing all of the work here. But perhaps that's what they should be doing because that pass is a little bit too far. I mean, a nice throw, but straight into the hands. An easy block for Radio Shower. It's Radio Shower who are making the options for Black Sheep. <laughs> almost like they're trying to throw to the other side it doesn't work like that does it in frisbee no, no unfortunately you do have to throw to the people who are wearing the same color the kit as you that's right that's true although with the uh, the way the team radio shower do run it is i mean you know anyone would be tempted to throw to them but i think perhaps black sheet there should have just kept moving it through their handlers but team radio shower 
will do a lovely reset. I thought this might be trying to jam it down that far sideline, but getting the flow moving very, very tastily indeed. Seem to have no trouble. Pit call. I believe Prian getting away from her defender. Very, I mean, separation's still there. I think they will come back a little. And the, so the throw will stand, but the defender will just have a chance to catch up, apply that force pressure. Hannah, I was just having a little read of our notes about the teams. And there's something in common that both teams have here. And that is that neither one of them have trained this season. To <laughs> so both Radio Shao being a pickup team haven't trained with everyone together. I'm sure a few of them have thrown. Oh, as we see a beautiful speaking about throws. throws. <laughs> oh. oh, that was money. Who threw that shot? Give yourself a pat on the back. Glorious. <laughs> Yeah. If only their numbers were easy to see, we would be able to recognize who it was. Up it goes. Can we identify the gentleman from his... Uh, perhaps... Is that the gentleman in the USA shorts? Let's have a look. Oh, he's been putting some gold all day so far. I mean, early stages in this day, but, uh, but beautiful nonetheless. A big lead now. Seven points up on Black Sheep. Black Sheep are just, just, just like looking a little bit disappointing. For the for a team that are on their way to the World Clubs in uh, in Cincinnati, and also I, my understanding is not all of the current roster stood in front of us will actually be playing at the World Championships. Uh, Mara Neal, for example, on the right-hand side of your screen will be playing, I believe, for DC Marvelous. Wow. Uh, she's training hard for that. You can follow her athlete page on Facebook if you so desire. But her sister Becca will look to field the pull into Marius. Close sideline, Galloway. Puts into lots of fakes. Ooh, and a bit of a clipped ankle there, I think. Everyone fine play will continue. He works for the inside. Oh, violation called. Perhaps someone moving too quickly after that stoppage before the disc was checked back in. I think perhaps Hutchinson getting a little bit testy, moving too soon. And now, so, Black Sheep in a horizontal stack. Look for their handers on the far sideline. Oh, and a pit call. Oh, sorry, foul call even. No pick. Bit of calamity on the field. There's lots of hand signals being thrown everywhere. Black Sheep will need to look to reform their structure. A bit of a bit of a mess right now downfield. Almost like two vertical stacks going Oh, but a one way. very nice inside forehand. And a big oh, hook! Marius Hutchinson gets big, but that might flow out of bounds, oh. and it does. He was shooting for the coffee van saying, someone messenger me over a caffeine <laughs> kid. <laughs> well, we'll have to see if we can get some, uh, some of our lovely team to perhaps bring us some caffeine so we can inject it into this game. Certainly, if we could send a message out to anyone who's listening to get us some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were out of it in the Iggy earlier, but Milek throws an ambitious... Oh! <laughs> Shut down! Ambitious put down the sideline there indeed, and that tapped away by Dory Cesar. That's a bit more of what we need to see from Black Sheep, that aggressiveness on defense. I mean... Just pick it up a level. Indeed, and hopefully Cesar managing to uh, fire up her team. Hutchison doing some frantic handler cutting, but Neil finds a very free Galloway on the far sideline, deep. Can they reset the disc now? Lovely around pass. Neil takes that in very easily, considering the inside channel. 
excellent use of fakes to move her mark around. Oh, a lovely around from her sister Mara. Galloway takes oh! that. Oh! That on the doorstep. That looked like it was going to be a run through intercept. She yeah. attacked that disc very nicely. Well, there you go. You were talking about Black Sheep needing to attack a bit more, and unfortunately, a errant drop pass there. Neil picks up the deep cut. That's good. But yeah, much more aggressive there from Black Sheep. I like that a lot. And here we are seeing that aggressive defense. Hutchison very close, but doesn't manage to stop Will Martin from catching that. And what a put that oh, is. Oh, William beautiful. Martin. Woo! Too easy for Radio Shower. That was magic in the air. Yes, it was magic in the air, magic in the hands. Sana Lufkins there taking that in, but what an absolute beauty from William Martin. Really low release point, stretches all the way out. That man has a very deep toolbox of throws indeed. And the amount of separation between the defender is so good. She just took off no, with she, fire. Lufkins is a very tall, not very tall, also very tall, very fast lady indeed. Rapid, but then again, all of this team radio show, you know, elite players playing together as a, you know, quote unquote pickup team. But this is pretty good pickups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they certainly make it look easy. So that stretches it to an eight point lead here in this game. That's a that's an insurmountable mountain to climb, I feel, for Black Sheep at this point. They were looking good in that point, though, that last point. So hopefully we can see them bring some more of that fire and intensity. Poach on the handler taken well. Nice movement. Little dainty fakes, not really putting in big cuts and then back in more jabbering footwork. Looking a little bit trapped now, a bit frustrated. Finds a release valve on the far sideline. Nice centering. Broughton considers the downfield and up oh, it goes. That's going to be defended very well indeed. <laughs> Nikki Prien. So casual about that, just tapping the disc away ever so gently. And just enough. Doing up her shoelace. She did all that with an untied shoelace. What an athlete. <laughs> and there we go. Fantastic read. The commitment to the sport. Forget <laughs> about shoes. Let's get that block. I really enjoyed there how Prien managed to get that block without causing any contact. I don't think she touched a hair on her Mark's head. Yeah, very nicely done. And so Team Radio Shower with the opportunity oh, to extend and there's a block. to nine. Well, whether that was a bro block or a uh, just simply throwing, I think she actually, her fake threw the disc out of her <laughs> hand, <laughs> Hillary. Sometimes it just gets away from you, doesn't it? Indeed, an isolation play, a deep stack and, with one in the front, but no one now cutting in the end zone whatsoever. I mean, really great tight oh, defense. Oh, foot block from Brian. Excellent defense there from Radio Shower. Black Sheep just not making enough options and creating those cuts that they needed to do. Well, they had the initial movement, but then it just seemed that everyone stopped for some reason. Can't be having that happening, but that's two on the board in terms of Ds for Brian in this game. I say at this game, this point. She's got... So, Team Radio Shower looking a little less cleaner than they did before, but finding a little bit more flow now. Oh, the very free players. Just a little bit jammy down the far sideline in this current moment. Yeah, it certainly doesn't look clean, but they make and it work. there we work. go, squeezing it in. And that extends the gap to a full nine points. Three more to go, and Team Radio shall have this one in the bag, which I can have to say, I suspect that may well be the case. It's just a, it's just a, a question now, Hilary, of how many points can Black Sheep hope to put on the board? Certainly. It, I mean, have they even scored since half? They have not, Hilary. They've not scored since half. Completely unanswered four-point run here from Team Radio Shower. 
Well, I mean, it's it's now not a case of can we win this game, but what can we do to further our 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 points on the board. And that, of course, being all important for this Swiss draw format here at Windmill. The smaller the gap between the two teams, the less it hurts the fallen team. In fact, some, uh, some of the quirks of the Swiss draw format, certainly being there are some very salty players in the open division who've ended up with quite a low ranking off the back of a team they lost to by a narrow margin, taking quite a heavy loss at the end of yesterday's play. Mixed, of course, having three games yesterday, will now have four games here on this Saturday. Perhaps Black Sheep are just taking it very easy, knowing that they've got four games today. Perhaps, and also I feel, you know, they're, they're happy to, to take the admission that Team Radio Shower are all extremely capable players and perhaps have just have the edge here as Hutchison takes a bit of contact there. He'll call a foul. And the two players will have a little chat about that one. There's supposed to be lots of non-committal. There we go, uncontested foul. And so Hutchison will get the disc on the far sideline. Looks for Davies, chooses the up line again. Both teams favoring to just jam it down that far side. Yeah, they like that sideline, that's for sure. Black Sheep not really looking for their resets very well. Cool. It's getting very tight oh! channel indeed, but they managed to sneak it in just as Team Radio Shower did the previous point, Hillary. I mean, sneak it in, they did, using one sideline of the entire field, not choosing to swing it whatsoever. They just don't like being close to us, Hillary, clearly. They just don't want to hear our, uh, our commentary on what they're doing. They're they just want to be far away from our voices. I, think they're I don't afraid, know why. I think they're afraid that they might hear something unpleasurable about themselves and or, you know, the realization that they're down will become ever so clear once they hear us well I, I i don't think you can really be unaware of being at a, an eight point deficit 12 four down in a game hillary i think they're they're fully aware of that though but yeah it's, it's both both teams are on the upwind side very much just not really taking the arounds as effectively team radio shower certainly doing a better job of swinging the disc but those two points both just jamming it up that far sideline not the prettiest ultimate in the world effective but i'd like to see both teams do more you know they i think they're more than capable of swinging in the wind yeah it's a shame that black sheep didn't warm up enough this morning because i think they're better than this i'm i'm certainly aware of some excellent kiwi players but radio shower have just shown their cards and completely dominated this entire game. Indeed, Remy there faking a big backhand put. And there we go, talking about swinging the disc, but um, a fortunate lack of focus there. A fumble there, uncharacteristic. Yeah, Lisa Kuhnberg, one of the organizers of this windmill tournament. She'll be disappointed with that one, but will now look to work hard to get it back. Becca Neal with the disc as Galloway, but Remy does a fantastic job of shutting down the around that they wanted. Yeah, that was really tight defense from Radio Shower. And across the board here, every single one of their players is just putting on a really tight mark. Yeah, Remy have done a fantastic job of defending in this game. Can oh, he get himself another block? Yes, the disc will turn away from Galloway and favor Come, almost came, they almost came towards Remy at the end there, but a lovely put from Broughton initially. Satin hung up. You could see the effort on Remy's face as he was getting towards to, to eat up the yards between him and Galloway, because obviously Galloway coming out of the handler position in order to make that deep cut. But yeah, no, Remy's having a fantastic game today on, the, on defense. He's uh, had a number of classy moments so team radio shower opportunity 
to take it to within two. A big shot from William Martin. Very oh nice. Oh my days, that is oh. beautiful. Run it into the end zone. Blumendahl now is going to reset. Furious fake. Oh. Opens up the backhand side <laughs> and two attempts to catch it. Lisa Cowenberg. What a score. Almost loses it. Recovers very nicely. Just taps it into the air. Yeah, that is a, a veteran play to keep the head on. But I love the fake that really sells a defender, opens up the big backhand channel. Almost too spicy, but uh, almost self-max there. <laughs> yeah, it, it seemed as if Lisa wasn't going to get that shot off the first time and just had to nudge it a little bit so that she could get into a better position to take it down. Yeah, just put, putting a tap on it to just try and slow the disc down, put it within range, and I mean, heck, she did it very effectively. That's a score, so 13-4 now for Team Radio Shower. We've started doing a little bit of trading late stages of this game, but certainly too little too late, I feel, from Black Sheep, giving themselves not even a mountain to climb. That's like that's like needing to blast off from planet Earth and go to Mars in order to catch this team radio shower. It's a big feat. I mean, for radio shower now, have some fun. Just relax. Oh, Stay well, <laughs> have some fun taking Ds like that, Daniel Muse. Oh, very nice flick. And he gets it. Oh! oh, my goodness. Oh my dang. Galen Campbell. A thing of beauty, what a layout. Has he got a nice grass stain on the bottom of his shirt? I think he might well do. Fabulous form. So let's see that again. Takes the D. Goes up nice and high and aggressive. Swoops in, gives the, uh, the receiver no chance. Unfortunately, we won't get a replay of the put, but uh, Campbell taking that in style, Hillary. Oh, yeah. That was some saucy stuff. That was very hot. A and great so, layout. Yep. Couldn't agree more, Hillary. Well, will we get another look at it? Or will we just see that D? Yep. Nope. Just, just three replays of that excellent D. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. It was very capable and good. And we all saw. Campbell's layout, of course. And you can get catch it on the rewind because we're <laughs> on a live stream, which is being recorded for posterity. I'm sure everyone will enjoy listening to our commentary back. Yeah. We're on the windmill account this morning on YouTube. So if you're watching, good morning. I'm Hillary and I'm joined here by Hannah. We're in the closing stages of Black Sheep versus Radio Shower. It is indeed Radio Shower's opportunity to take this game with their D line. Score of 14 4. But Black Sheep say no, not quite done yet oh, as they throw no. an errant pass completely. Miscommunication. Miscommunication. <laughs> <laughs> but we're on the same page, Hillary. We are finishing each other's sentences. <laughs> Or sandwiches. I prefer sandwiches. Sandwiches, okay. I'm happy to share food. I like I like a half-eaten sandwich. As oh. That disc doesn't look half-baked at all, but Galloway has a fantastic read. <laughs> Did William Martin catch that inbounds? Oh, no. Players on the field say it's out. That is certainly a, uh, a way to finish. Out is the call from Mara Neal. But... That was, regardless of whether that was in bounds or out of bounds, William Martin, hats off to you, my friend. That was a, that was a great I don't attempt. Think, I don't think I've ever seen anyone try and do that before. That was a pleasure to watch. True athleticism. I mean, that's the that's commitment. Of, it's uh, the beauty of ultimate is you see these incredible plays. When the disc is in the air, anything can happen. Never, never consider it down oh and that's a hot but load a, of pressure there a tough disc from Warren and he gets double shower. happiness that is game Hillary we are done here for the first round of play 
on this Saturday of Windmill Windup. Thoughts on that game, Hilary? Well, you had it at the beginning, Hanny. You said you favoured Radio Shower because of their offence, and that's what it was. It was the strong, active offence of the Radio Shower that just dominated the game. Too bad for Black Sheep, who just didn't warm up quite enough. I think they need some coffee, and I think we do too. I think you're quite right there, Hilary. Unfortunately, Black Sheep not able to put much magic together for our live stream game this morning. But stay tuned. We're with you all day, bringing you action from the Open and Women's Division. We have uh, Fabulous and Enralas. And we also have, uh, from the Open Division, we have Kuz Bologna, the gents, and I believe Fuge. So please stay tuned for that. We'll be with you soon. TV.